Hi everyone, with Kelvin here. So let's discuss about B weekly contest nine. Second question, minimum night move. So we are given infinite chessboard with coordinate from minus infinity to plus infinity. And we have a night at square zero zero. And the night have eight possible value to move. And as a standard chess rule of night. And then we being asked to return the minimum number of steps needed to move a knight to square x comma y. So let's see here. On the first example, to move to x to y one, we require one move, like from here to here. So it's one move, okay. And on the second example, to move to coordinate five five. Uh, from zero zero, we move to two one, move to four two, back to three four, and then move to five five. Okay, so the shortest part here is um, need four step to do. Okay, and notice the constraint here is um, uh, the the length of x and the delta x plus de delta y is smaller than three hundred. So we can say like we can um, ignore the infinity if the length is only this, but of course we can exit the um, path of 300 and then suddenly we go back like uh, the common way we do a night move so yeah so how are we going to solve this question so basically if we're going to handle the range of 300 by performing a D, uh, DFS or BFS um, it will get a timeout because the amount of um, navigation we need to do is too large so we definitely cannot um, done that by a normal bfs instead what i going to do is um, we try to move closer to the to the um, goal point and then after that we perform a uh, bfs so how are we going to do that is basically by doing a uh, greedy so if x is x distance is larger than y then we move um, more on x and move less on y and otherwise if it, uh, y y distance is larger than x we move more on y side and move less on x side so in that way um, we can decide um, how we're going to move our horse the knight itself so yeah the first part there as i explained like um, as long as um, we're still far away from our goal like let's say um, x is larger than 6 and y is larger than 6 then we perform everything using a greedy method like um, to determine whether we're going to move how many x and how many y okay and we count it as a move okay and this part of the code basically you can ignore it because this is not going to happen um, but uh, after that once we move closer we have the current x and y and how many moves we spend on the greedy method and after that we perform the bfs okay um when we perform the bfs um i have the map of the tile itself and what how, how many is the cost the minimum cost to visit current path okay and once we uh, reach our coordinate then we get our current path cost plus initial move so initial move caused by the greedy method we add it there and then we return it so yeah that's it for this question like um so the greedy move plus the move um needed um, by checking the bfs okay because once we get close enough um we need a bfs to, to determine um how we going to approach to reach the goal like going back and going for again something like that so yeah bfs can do that pretty well in the close distance so we don't spend a lot of memory yeah so thank you for watching see you on the next weekly contest